bank account example. Let's say we want to create a program that will store multiple bank accounts and their balances. We will start by creating a bank account class. Class bank account. Next, we need to create an init method that will be called automatically when a new bank account object is created. So here we have def init. We have two arguments here being sent to these parameters, name and balance. The arguments sent to the init method when a bank account object is created will be saved into the instance attributes name and balance. For example, if we start a new bank account called A, that's our instance of our bank account class, and we send the arguments checking and 430, then the name of our account will be checking and the balance will be 430. Let's create three accounts, A, B, and C. Using the init method, we don't need to use setter methods. We can set the values all on one line when we create the objects, like this. What if we forget to include values when we create our objects, like this? Currently, we would get an error. We can actually modify our init method to have default values. If no arguments are given, the default values will get saved. So here, instead of just having account name, we can have equals default and account amount equals 0.00. .00. Those become the default values. So here, for object D, we don't include any arguments. If we were to print out d.name, we would get default, and d.balance would return 0.00. .00. What if we wanted our program to store accounts and balances, but also output them on command? Let's start with our original program. Could we just add the line of code below, print A? Try it. What happens? You probably got a result that you didn't expect, a result that looks sort of like this. That's because A is not a string or a number, but an object made from class bank account. We haven't told Python how to print it. Let's fix that. We need to create a method that will output the information in each account. The method print balance below will print out the name and the balance stored in the bank account object declared. It does not need any parameters as it uses only attributes. So here we have self and we're going to print out whatever object is calling this method, its name, and its balance. Be sure to put self as the parameter. This way the computer will know to run this method on the exact object that is calling it. Notice that no value is returned. All this method does is execute a print command. Let's see how. Let's look at our whole program so far. We have class bank account, we have an init method, and we have a print balance method. But which account does the program print information about? We can make an endless number of accounts using our bank account class. Which one of the following will get printed? As of now, none of them get printed. We must call to the method print balance using a dot operator. For example, if we want account Maria to print out, we would use maria.printbalance. As you can see here, we create three bank accounts, then we call the print balance method on each object here. So when we call a.printbalance, we're sending a as an argument here, it gets saved in self. So this becomes a.name and a.balance. Then b.printbalance does the same thing but with b, and then finally c. And you can see that we print all the information. 